Yo, YouTube, back again with another tutorial, Nick from the Rocky Crystal. I've had quite a few messages and uh, stuff on Instagram asking for more tutorials, so here's another one. Um, it's more sort of top tip tutorial, really. Um, I'm going to do this pine sort of blanket box and I'm going to do some hand painting sort of stencil on it. So if you haven't got a stencil, but you want a stencil, this is the tutorial for you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start off, I'm going to paint it black. I want this to look like an old trunk that was in a train station or something. Um, so I'm going to put a GWR on the top, um, which is the Great Western Railway. And for that I've got, I've got the G, an old letter, which I'm just going to draw around. The R, I haven't got W, so I'm going to just do it with an M. Um, and then we're going to do that, the stencil bit on the front as well. I think I'm going to write Norfolk Boards, Roxham, something like that. So this should be quite a quick tutorial. I know um, when it comes to tutorials you just want to see the good bit. Uh, you don't want to get bored. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, paint this black, and then we're going to start doing um, some sort of homemade stencils on the front. I'm just going to keep it simple. You can go more intricate with this if you wish, but you'll see what I mean when you get going. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this black. Okay, so first coat's on. Um, I think one coat might be enough for this one because I want it to look a little bit rough, a little bit um, aged. I'm going to go for a rustic, like, um, railway trunk, steamer trunk. I'm going to put some railway stuff on the front. Um, yeah, so I'll wait for this to dry and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so for this next bit, I'm just going to cheat a little bit because I've got these letters that I've got. I'm just going to put GWR, just going to draw around them, then I'm going to paint them, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the good bits. Okay, so I've just finished uh, painting the GWR, which is Great Western Railway. I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to uh, do the actual tutorial bit. Okay, so you've got your piece of furniture, you want to do a little design on it. Um, you, you're thinking stencil, you haven't got the stencil, you can't get the stencil. Um, so what you need to do is get yourself some chalk pencil and then just print off your design so I just want Roxham so I'm going to put GWR Roxham um, you could have whatever you wanted a little design little picture whatever so you get that turn it over I've used this one before so you can reuse your print offs get your chalk and rub the back of what you want with the chalk So you've got the back of the image covered in chalk and you just put it down where you want it. So you just going to put it there. You should really tape it down and measure it all out but for the sake of that I'm not going to. Get your pencil and then just draw around the outline. what you want to do and then you 
can just fill that in with paint. So I'm going to colour that in now and then we'll come back and we'll do the front. And you can see that's done pretty good and the chalk doesn't rub off, the chalk stays there pretty well. I mean it, it does rub off but you have to rub it off it, you know, if you brush your hand across it, it won't come off. So once that's dry, I'll rub it with a cloth to get rid of the, the chalk. Um, but you can do that with little things, big things, whatever you want, just print it off, chalk the back and then draw it on. And I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to tip it up and do the front. Okay, I'm going to do the front now, and again, I'm just going to keep it simple. I want this to look like an old trunk that's come out of um, like a shed at the railway station. So I'm just going to put Norfolk Broad um, Boathouse on the front. Um, so I've printed off my Norfolk and my Broads. I'm going to do the same again. Right, get the chalk. Think that you want the piece is covered in chalk. And you should really line it up properly, but I'm not going to so make sure that fits. So just put that there and we'll just draw around it again. It's a little bit ski wiffy the K, I've rushed that a bit, but I can just tidy that up when I actually paint it. Um, and when you paint it, you would need a small brush, obviously, to, to do it. Um, but I'm going to do the broads and then come back. Okay, that's all the painting done. I'm just going to let that dry and then we'll distress it a bit, wax it, and show you the finished article. Okay, so that's all dry. Now I'm just going to get some sandpaper and just rough up the edges a little bit. And then I'm going to wax it and then take some photos, and it's done. So I'm just going to do this and wax it and then we'll come back. Okay, so yes, we are done. Nice, quick tutorial. Um, I don't want to bore people. Um, but I've done a very simple design, but you can go much more intricate or elaborate, whatever you want to do. Just whatever you print off, chalk up, you can do. Um, so hopefully that will help some people. If it does, and you do a project, Find me on Instagram, tag me if you want, I'd love to see. Um, like and subscribe if you want. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it.